All right, this is uh, P85 and the VMAX 600 secondary on uh, 89 Exciter. For this, I use the Exciter mounting bolt. There's an aluminum sleeve over it that came off the original clutch, and I shortened that and machined it out so this thicker bolt would fit through it. That's the original bolt. This is off a uh, 96 XCR 600. It's a short bore. It fit right on there. No problem. So you got about the same distance as the original clutch head. You can see down in there. And that's off the VMAX 600 96. I, uh, I just went and picked up a 14 millimeter by 1.5 by 90 millimeter long bolt. A washer. And I made a spacer. It's an inch and a half long. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. There's not much room in there. And you'll need to uh, add some more shims to the back of that. So I'll do that. I'm going to get the actual bolt and spacer up that style sled. Because that's the one I used when I first I used that bolt and everything, but I don't want to cut the spacer down. You gotta cut the spacer down to about an inch and a half, maybe a little longer. And this is direct fit, goes right on. This belt, you're gonna want to get an 8DN Yamaha belt. This is uh, a little different at the moment. I have a Deco HPX5008. It's working for now. And this has a blue white spring and like 10 something weights, I don't remember, but tuning it will get there. I have different helixes to try 46, a 5244. That's only a 39, I think. But see what she does. <laughs> Pretty much bolt on. I'll get her out this winter and test it up.